All right, let's turn our attention now to Hananiga. The Indians played at Freeport tonight. The Pretzels came in confident, riding a two-game winning streak. Fourth and inches for Hano and Cooper Hathaway. He's going to get started after the captains meet here at half field. Here it is. And the big play becomes a turnover on downs. Next possession. Dominic Kelly is going to get the ball here. And he's going to drop back. He runs one way, then reverses his direction, finds his blockers, follows them, weaving through these pretzel defenders, and finds his way for this incredible 51-yard score. Kelly rushed for 107 total yards tonight. He, he just was on a mission tonight. Pretzel's ball now. We're going to have Peyton Woker under center. He sets his feet. His pass is intercepted by Brody Sedil. The pick, though, didn't count because of a roughing the passer penalty. Now Indians' Kurt Smith finds some running room, then darts his way to the end zone from 27 yards, just like that jersey number. Like I said in the past, this kid is the real deal. Hananiga wins 35-0. A dominant win again by Hananiga. They might have had a little chip on their shoulder after the drama. They've been... They might have had a little bit of chip on their, or a little bit of chip on their shoulder after that drama they endured last week. So, kind of, how do you see them bouncing back this week? I think they did a good job bouncing back. I mean, you know, you know, things happened over there. You know, last week uh, they were able to get a, get their hands around things and just really move forward. So, you know, what they did tonight, I'm really not surprised. Um, you know, it was just really good to see them really get back on track. The kids get focused, get back to football, and winning games. Going back to your playing days. Uh, there wasn't often that Boylan that faced adversity because yeah. you guys had yeah. some dynamite teams in your day. But when you guys did face adversity, what, what lessons did you learn from the coaches back then about how you deal with it, uh, the way Hananiga is trying to do it now? Well, you know, you just, you just, you know, your coaches tell you, hey, guys, you know, this is what we're going through. You know, we're going to get through it as a family, as a team, as a community. Um, and and you, just, you, just, you just hope the guys actually adhere to that and actually they go out and they, you know, they get back to school and focus on you know, the grades and then they come back to the, to the sports and to the gridiron and then they focus on just getting back on that, on that winning track, so to speak, that they're on already. And sometimes it's good for a team, too, because they circle the wagons yep. and it brings them closer together yeah, right, and yeah. makes them stronger. Yeah. So and that's I, and why... I, and I, I think, I think Hananigas, they're, they're, they're a little sour, you know, about, you know, about what had happened, you mm -hmm. know, but, you know, they, they're, I think they're going to use this as, as fuel uh, going forward. I think, you know, we're going to see Hananiga, you know, you know, I know they have the big showdown against Belvedere North coming up, but, you know, Hananiga is mm -hmm. going to continue to be Hananiga as they always have. Right. Well, they went out and played football tonight. Hey, let's check out another Nick 10 game.